Jalen, you guys look like you were having a lot of fun out there and playing with a lot of intensity. How, how did it feel out there, and how do you feel like this performance kind of came about? Uh, I think it felt really good. I think all four days in practice, we really keyed in on, you know, playing with pride, playing for the four letters in front of us. Uh, so I think we went out there and mirrored what we did in practice, just playing hard with energy and for each other. From the start of the game, it looked like you guys were really attacking the basket more than you had in recent games, not settling for threes, driving in, concerted effort to do that. Um, was that a schematic thing, or were you guys, guys just coming out and playing hard, and that's just what happened? You, got, you ended up driving a lot to the basket. Yeah, just like I said before, I feel like we uh, really focus on you know playing with pride, and that comes with playing, uh, you know, playing for each other, like I said. And on top of that, Coach Bartow really wanted to focus on playing with speed. He thinks we're really athletic, and we should use them more. Uh, I didn't think we called a lot of plays. I think we just did a lot of, you know, just running, passing, you know, if you're open, attack, shoot it, just play free. What, what did, David, what did, it, what did it feel like to hear uh, Coach was saying that uh, Tyus gave you guys kind of an impassioned speech earlier this week about what it meant to wear the UCLA uniform? What did it mean to hear that and, and, and from, from somebody of his magnitude? Um, it meant a lot to me, you know, I was really touched, you know, because Ty is, he's over the guards, he teaches me new things and stuff like that. So when I heard that speech, I just, I, we came together and I said, we need to play our heart out. We need, we need to play for us, for our fans, and mostly for our coaches, because we represent UCLA. We represent uh, the president and the alumni. So I said, um, we just play. Moses, uh, what was it like? You know, hearing the fans react the way they did tonight, especially last game here, they uh, they were booing you guys. Yeah, that kind of hurt. You know, we didn't come out there with the energy we were supposed to have, and um, I felt like that, that's that's the way they would react. You know, their home team didn't come out how we were supposed to play. We didn't look like a team, and we didn't have enough energy. But we got right back to it today. How much did it help you guys really did a lot of uh, really act increased activity defensively, some full court pressure that seemed to really impact the game? How, how much did that help tonight? I think it helped us a lot. You know, we're, we're long, we're athletic, so we wanted to play, that, play to that uh, you know, advantage. You know, we use our speed a lot. Uh, we thought the pressure bothered people, so we kept to it. Uh, and I think it played really well in our favor. How did it change things for you guys to have Chris Smith in the starting lineup tonight? Um, Jalen, I know you, you, you started. How, how did it change the, having Chris Smith out there? Uh, you know, Chris Smith is long, uh, athletic, so I think it played into you know our game plan. I think he had eight rebounds, so he did a good job rebounding. Uh, he didn't shoot as well today, so you know he can come back tomorrow. I mean, uh, Saturday versus Kyle and pick that up. But you know, I think he did a really good job rebounding, outlaying on breaks, being active. Being long, it's like having four, four guards out there. Everyone's a threat to drive or shoot at all times. For, for any of you guys, what, what was the first reaction when you found out about Coach Alford, and how has this week been like, you know, in the transitional period? Um, it was an emotional time for us, you know. We, uh, we listened to what we had to say, and we took it upon ourselves, you know, to, we had to come together. Even though it was a tremendous loss for the team, we still had a season to, uh, season to play. Moses, what is, what's it like having Coach Bartow in charge? What do you like about his kind of coaching style in his first game here? I love Bartow's energy. Like in practice, he does he does a lot to motivate us. And when uh, Coach was around, we just saw how much energy and how much effort he put into us and in making us a better team. And now that he's the head coach, all of that is starting to manifest. And as you can see on the court, we did a good job today. We had more energy. We was playing, running up and down, just having a good time. And we um. We came together as a family. You know, he emphasized us just looking like a team, like valuing each other, you know, sharing the ball and playing defense, playing hard. So I, I really like the way he's, he's went about this little transition we're going through. Uh, Mo, first of all, I want to say, so apologize for not saying you started up as well earlier um, in my question to Jalen. Um, how do you think the ball movement today helped you get all the dunks that you got in the game? I think it, it helped lift the defense up. We, we worked a lot on how they were going to play us. You know, they played us in the zone for a short part of the game, and we, we ran through a lot of sets that can take advantage of their defense, and we moved the ball around, and it made it just way easier to get open shots, not only for me, but for my teammates. The, the two-a-days you guys had, he was talking about that. How much did that help in the, the level of preparation and kind of galvanizing you guys to come together?
Um, the two days, you know, it really helped us. It helped us concentrate. And, you know, we had to, as a team, we had to learn to concentrate. And I feel like we did that. I feel like um, we focused on our mission even more. And we felt how serious Bartow was on us. And we really felt his love because coach, when coaches care, when coaches love us, they're on us like that. So it helped us.